All right, let's take a look at Shaking Down the Acorns, the melodic version. Here's measure number one. One more time. Here's measure number two. Make sure you pay attention to the fact that there's a drop thumb in there on that note there. Otherwise, pretty standard measure. Uh, let's go on to measure number three. Here we have a couple boom notes, the second one being split by a hammer on. And the second half of the measure is a straight boom chicka strum where we weave in a couple melody notes. And the final measure of this line actually starts with a drop thumb. And you'll see that same basic measure pop up again pretty soon in this tune. Let's go to uh, line two, measure number one. It's going to be the same as the first measure of the tune. And the second measure of this line will also be the same as the second measure of the previous line. third measure is going to be the same as the third measure of the previous line. Um, so it's essentially, the second line is essentially a repeat of the first line. The end of the final measure is where you see a little variation. So the last two notes of the fourth measure of the second line the open second string and the fifth string, that's the variation. And that leads you right into the B part. So the B part, um, so we're going to start right here. I should tell you right now, um, there are so many different versions of this tune. Most of them have the same kind of melody, but it's the way they arrange the A part and the B part. And some of them have a particular variation that happens in the B part that is part of the tune. Other times it's just a variation. Um, so I encourage you to go out and listen to as many versions as you can of this tune. 
and know that I just kind of settled on my own arrangement here. So in the B part, we're going to learn the B part the way I play it, and then we're going to learn a variation for the third line. Some people will play that variation as part of the tune. Others will just play it as a variation here and there. Um, so we're going to play this tune instead of A, A, B, B, we're going to play it A, B. And then occasionally we'll do all, we'll add that variation line to the B part. So if you look at my performance video, the performance section of this video right at the beginning, you'll notice that the B part is two lines long on the first and third time through, but the second time through, the middle, middle time that I play it in the performance, I actually add that variation line in there. Okay, hope that makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the B part. Pretty straightforward. We should be, uh, if you've already done a few lessons in this lesson pack, you're used to sliding into this second fret, second string quite a bit. Pretty straightforward measure. Let's look at measure number two. Here we got a drop thumb. We're kind of working a melody across the strings. And then we end with this hammer on to the second fret for a string. It's going to lead us into the next measure. So the next measure, the third measure of this third line. 